on doggies welcome back to another video and good bloody morning to you all right it's early that's the moon the moon's the moon's still up the sun's still down it is pitch black down here and i have just woken up once again in paradise we've got a coffee on the boil we've got the boat on the back of the troopy and we are going on one hell of an adventure so this is where i've just woken up solo in the bush couldn't be a better feeling mate we've got the tinny on the back She's all ready to go, fueled up, fishing rods. She's ready for a big day in the water. On the edge of that cliff right there is the ocean. What a bloody place to wake up, mate. We've got a coffee on the boil. Things are looking up. Let's go. Right, I've got a little bit of dog and gun, full send. A little bit of a good luck fishing breakfast. Oh, I'm frothing to get out there. Righto, let's pack up this bedroom. Let's hit the road. Basically, this is one of the best beds in the world. What we're gonna do is grab this, pull this down. This is where I slept last night. Beautiful sleep. Biggest game changer on the troopy I've done yet. Pull this down. Come on down. Let's pull the roof down. Sweet. That's it. Bed is done. Takes about three seconds. Let's go fishing. It's a little bit bloody soft, isn't it? We'll get through. Have a look at this, doggies. Look at that beautiful bloody sunrise over there. Tinny's on the back. Oh, there is no better way to start a day. Look at this, mate. This is what it's all about. Let's go. A little bit of a four-wheel track to get out of where we stayed last night. And then we are on the road. Drop the boat in the water. See if we can go get the massive fish. Turn that into a fish burger, this Arvo. Yeah. It's beautiful. Look at the sunrise, mate. Doesn't come much better than that. Look at the conditions. It's only supposed to get lighter and lighter. This wind is meant to completely drop out. So it looks like it's gonna be an incredible day. Let's go get a couple of big slobs on this little baby boat. <laughs> it is beautiful out here right now. So what's going on? We've got about a five to six knot easterly wind right now as I speak. And the forecast reckons that it's going to drop out during the day. So right now, it is a beautiful light easterly wind and they reckon that easterly is going to drop down to like one knot around 10 o'clock. So if that happens, it is going to be the most incredible, oily, beautiful glass off day. Now hopefully we can get a couple of big, de big dogs on the deck. I haven't seen one other boat out here. It's just me so far. So we've got a little bit of a drive. We've probably got about a 20 minute drive to get to where I want to fish. So, um, I'm just gonna flat stick it. We're not getting wet today. It is a bloody beautiful day. Look at this. This is what I live for. This exact moment. Ha! Ah, beautiful. All right, let's party. We are on location. Have a look at the water in the background. It is, it's nearly a glass off. It's so bloody beautiful out here. So what we're doing today is we're actually testing a handful of jigs that I'm getting made. So this jig here, 
I've been using this for a little while now. This is up there with one of my favorites. Um, it's a little dynamite stick. So we're gonna drop this down. We're currently fishing in 32 meters of water. And um, just gonna slowly, today we're just gonna slowly pick around, pick our spots, see if we can get a big juicy slob on the boat. And um, we're not eating any food. We've gotta go and make fish burgers this afternoon. So that's the goal. We've gotta make some sort of a fish burger before the sun goes down. We've gotta get some big fish on the deck. Let's see if we can get it done. All right, we're on the bottom. All right, so basically what I'm doing out here is I've got a rod in that back corner over there. And that rod has one of these jigs. It's just sitting on it and it literally, it's just sitting out there like this. And it's just bobbing up and down as the boat goes up and down. But what's so good about these assist hooks is they've got a lot of like flashy fly kind of stuff on them. So you don't actually have to move that rod too often. I can just leave that in the rod holder. And then when we're going up and down these tiny little waves, that jig is just gonna bounce like an injured squid or a little fish in distress or something. And hopefully something smashes it. But with this rod, I'm gonna prop a slow pitch jig with it. And we'll, um, we'll just see if we can get a big dog off the bottom up into the esky and um, we can complete this catch, catch and cook challenge. Hopefully one of these rods get smashed and we can get a fish on the deck. All right, we've got a fish on the second rod. <laughs> this jig isn't even doing anything. It's just sitting on the bottom. All right, we've got a fish on. It's not a monster, but we do have a fish on. It's not a big fish, but oh, that's beautiful. That's actually a really bloody nice fish. That is called a bulging groper. Have a look at this. That is beautiful. Woohoo! There's the first fish of the day. That is called a bulging groper. Sometimes they're a nice bluey green color. This one's an epic orange color. You can see those big chomping teeth he's got there. And there's the 100 gram green FDYS jig. So basically that jig was literally just bouncing in the current or just floating in the waves and he came up and he had a sniff and obviously we've booked him beautifully in the lip there. But these little suckers have got to be 40 centimeters to keep. And this one is... All right, he goes a very healthy 45. So they've got to be 40, he's 45. He's a little, he's oversized and um, he's going in the esky. That is one of the most beautiful tasting fish in the sea, in my opinion. Glowing white meat, that is epic. Got him on the FDYS 100 gram. Epic, epic fish. Oh yeah, baby. Hey, all right, this rod's still dancing. Let's see if we can get another one. That is a very, very, very good start to the morning. One of the most incredibly beautiful tasting fish right there. We've got our fish burger sorted, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be bloody beautiful. Oh, that's fish on! <laughs> that's definitely, he's not a monster, but it's fish on. Beautiful. Look at the colours in that little fella. That is a beautiful little pink snapper. Look at the colours on this little fella. Little pink snapper, beautiful fish, but he's obviously way too small to keep. So, see you, mate. Boom. Back to the drink here, guys. Big fish, we're coming at ya. Come on, we need some big, 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 big dogs. Sweet. All right, we are on the move. Got one beautiful fish in the esky. And when I say beautiful, I mean mwah, 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 mwah. that fish is one of the best fish, best eating fish in the sea. But what I'm doing now is we're going to punch out a little bit further. We're going to go fish about 40 to 50 meter mark. So we're in a pretty bloody small boat fishing 50 meters of water. You've got to go a fair way out. But it is a beautiful day right now. It is actually dead flat. It is a nice day. So we should be pretty right out there. I've only seen one other boat. There's one other guy fishing about kilometer down there and that's it it's just me and him out here that's the only other boat i've seen but uh we got one fish in the esky that which means we've got our fish burger secured so this is going to be a catch and cook which is killer because i'm already hungry and it's only like eight o'clock in the morning so we'll punch out to the 50 meter mark we'll see if we can get some big slobs on the deck surely we're going to get 
a big slope. Boom! On the bottom. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> so does it hit the bottom? Oh, that's literally on the fish's head. Ay, ay, ay. That literally just hit the bottom. I must have put that right in front of its face. It's not big. It's not the monster we're coming for, but it is a fish. Oh, that's a beautiful little fish. Have a look at that. Look at that. That's a beautiful little dew fish. Very juvenile. Obviously not big enough to keep. Hooked in beautifully there in the corner of the jaw with that jig. Look at that, he's a beautiful little one. Must have dropped that jig right in front of his face. As soon as it hit the bottom, that loaded up. He's a beautiful, look at that, the jig just fell out. He is a gorgeous little one, but we'll let him go. Beautiful looking fish. All right, mate, are you gonna swim away, friendly? Yes, you are, good. That's what, that's what it's all about. All right, let's see if we can get another one. Well, he was a beautiful little dew banger. He's a tiny little one. That's what we want. I want to get that fish, but like 15, 20 kilo. That is going to be, that'll be epic. So what we're doing, we're fishing in 37 meters of water. And if you can see out here in the background here, all this water's all glassy and glossy and stirred up. So what I'm actually doing is, I've got a couple of muleys here and every now and then I just chuck one out or I'm cutting them up into little pieces. And on this side, We've got a burly bomb and I'm just letting releasing little bits of pilchard and little bits of muley into the water in the hope that we get like sambos or something coming around the boat. They've got to come up pretty far from the deep. We're fishing 27 meters here, but that's what we're doing. You can see all the stuff in the water there. Look at that. All the bait just slowly putting out a big sand. Might get a big shark, might get some sambos. Who knows? Just up on our odds right now. It's bloody beautiful out here. Let's go again. This little, work, this little jig's doing the thing. All right. Back out you go. Wait. That's a fish. That's another bloody fish. On fire. Not big. Ah, oh, the bloody jig, the dead jig's getting smoked at the back. What's going on here? What have we got? Oh, a little Jew banger. Look at this. That's another lovely, lovely little Jew banger. Have a look at him. Ow! Mongrel. Look at that. Ah! <laughs> Come on, pull your head in. Look at that. He's beautiful. Here's another beautiful little Dewey. Obviously not big enough to keep. Look at that, double assist hooks. Have both gone in to the bottom lip and they've hooked him absolutely bloody beautifully. Very nice fish. Have a look at this. While he's got his gob open, that's what he's been eating. He's been chewing on. I swear to God that rod's going off. All right, let's get, him, get these hooks out. Get this beautiful little baby back. There he is, beautiful West Australian Jewfish. Mwah, mwah. Love ya, see ya. Off he goes. This is not even a joke. I just let that Jewfish go. And then the dead one, I'm gonna call this the dead jig. The dead, the dead jig just got smoked. It's tiny, but it's something still ate it. It's just sitting there doing nothing. Have a look at this. That's the second bulging groper we've got on the dead on the dead jig. So that jig is literally just sitting there doing nothing by itself. And these little baldies must they come up and have a sniff at it? But have a look at the teeth on that thing. It's a bloody can opener. These are a beautiful fish. That's actually size as well, but we're gonna let this one go because I'm only allowed two demersal fish out here. And I'm gonna I'm chasing a big, 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 big fish. So that's a beautiful sized fish. Like I said, one of the most beautiful eating fish in the sea, but he's going back to swim another day. 
Thank you, beautiful. See you later. Here she goes, over the edge. Let's go, little rig. I don't know what's going on with this weather report right now, but it is blowing probably a five to six knot southerly wind. And that is not supposed to happen today. It's meant to be like full on dead offshores all day. So, um, I don't know what's going on here. But we're getting quite a few fish. I just didn't let another little um, fortune groper go. He was only a little baby. But um, there's a lot of fish down here. Just not, they're just not massive. Oh, oh, yeah, there's a fish. Oh, there's fish there, look at this. Come on, just missed one then. Oh, there's a fish. There he is, up him. Oh, how good is this? I'm literally dropping this lure on their heads. It's only a baby, maybe a little snapper. Come on, I need a big dog. This is hell fun, but it's safe to say that this lure, this new jig that I've made works. What do we got? What do we got? That's another bloody beautiful, beautiful bulging groper. That is incredible. Whoa. Holy shit, is it up? She's like an acrobat, dude. Chill, bro, chill. You're gonna go back. Hey! <laughs> this is insane fishing. That is another beautiful ball chin groper. Look at the colors on them. They're these beautiful orange. He's smoked that jig. So this jig is, what am I using? That's an 80 gram jig. And he is just, mate, every time you drop it down, they're just vicious. A lot of people say you don't really catch ball chin gropers on jigs, but mate, we're getting the job done today. That's another beautiful, beautiful ball chin groper. He's size, but I'm gonna let him go because like I said, we're after that big, big dog. Beautiful fish. Look at the chompers on him. <laughs> All right, let's get these hooks out and get him straight back. He's a lovely fish. All right, let's do it again. Come on, we need to upgrade to something big, like big, big, big. These fish are pretty fun to catch. They're beautiful eating. I'm letting like, I'm releasing the most incredibly good eating fish in the world back, but it's all right. We've got one, it's all we need. Just one big slob, that would be incredibly good. It's coming. All right, we're nearly on the bottom. That's the bottom. Little jigs, jig, jig, jig. Jig, jig, jig. Come on. Oh, there we go. Just had a little knock. Eat it. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that's fish, that's fish. Yeah, that's fish. Oh, that's fish on. <laughs> oh my goodness, how good is this? That might be a little bit of a better fish, you know. That literally smashed it, didn't it? That might be a better fish. Nah, it's just not massive. You're kidding. It's another, oh, that's a bloody good bulging groper. I think I found the mother hole of bulging groper. This, this one is beautiful. That is a big one, that's good. That is beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at you, you big demon. That is a specimen of a fish. Now that's what I'm talking about. That is a ball chin groper. Another one from the same spot. He is incredibly beautiful. That is big. That's, right, let me measure it. He goes just under 60 centimeters. So that there is truly a beautiful fish. Look, I think I'm gonna keep this one as well. 
That's my limit for the day. I can't keep any more fish. We can catch it. We can catch fish all day, but we can't keep any more. This guy's too big and too beautiful not to let back. That's a really, really bloody good feed right there. We've got fish burgers for days. Have a look at the chompers on that thing. <laughs> wow, that's incredible. Look at that hook. Let's do that drift again and see what else is there. But I'm going to keep this one. That's it. We're done for the day for keeping fish. Beautiful. Thank you. Let's put him out of his misery straight on ice. Boom. What have we got here? That is the biggest Sergeant Baker. That's a monster. Who saw that Sergeant Baker? Ah, ha, ha. All right. These are meant to be good eating. I've never eaten one before. I don't even know if it's a demersal. Have a go at this dinosaur looking fish. That's called a Sergeant Baker. Boy, you little fella. All right, he's going to have a little bit of a headache, but he's going back. That there is a Sergeant Baker. Not too sure if you can actually keep this because I've already got two demersals, but I'll look into that later. I want to try to eat one of these one day. I've heard but it's between a flathead and a cod, so it probably tastes pretty bloody delicious, but we'll let this one go. Righto, mate. See you in the next one. Ow! Oi, oi, oi. All right, we've, um, we've got to start punching back in. The weather gods have changed their mind and the weather reports have lied to us. Whatever's going on right now is not supposed to happen with this wind. It's getting really bloody windy. It's picking up very fast and I am miles and miles and miles out to sea. And this is not a big boat. So I'm going to try to um, get back into safe water as soon as I possibly can. If it keeps getting windy like this, it's gonna, we're going to get flogged out here. So I have to pull the pin on this mission. We head into a little bit more shallow water. And um, we'll see how we go from there. But if this wind picks up anymore, we're going to get absolutely flogged in this little boat. So we'll punch back into the, into the safe water and we'll go from there. We'll make a little bit of a game plan. We've got two beautiful fish in the esky. And um, that's what we come out for, our little fish burgers. They're going to taste bloody good. I'm starving right now. All right. The big, long, bumpy ride back to the car. Refuge of calm water. I've arrived in this little bay and it's so calm and beautiful. I was getting absolutely flogged out there on that drive in. That was a long stint. That was a long stint in. We were, um, we were pretty far out today. But that was a very, very successful day. We're gonna go into the shore now. We're gonna go make one hell of a feed. I'm starving. But I just want to show you guys that fishing jig that we're using today. So this is gonna be available on the online shop very soon. We've got three different jigs coming. Two of them I know are dynamite. They're already bloody on the online shop now. They're not for sale yet, but this is the third one. I wanted to bring it out here today and just put it through, a, just test it and see if it actually works. We've got Bolching Groper, we've got Snapper, we've got Jewfish, and we've got a Gurnard. What else did we get? I think that's the bag we got today, but it was all using this jig. I used a pink one and a green one, and um, they both performed incredibly bloody well. Even the one at the back of the boat, that wasn't even being fished, just, it was just sitting there, bobbing up and down with the waves. Even that one got a Jewfish, man. So they definitely work, but there's one dilemma I have with this jig. I do not have a name for this particular make and model. So I'm gonna leave this up to you, Mad Dogs, to give this thing a name. If you wanna drop a name in the comment section of this video, I'll scroll through, I'll find the best name that fits this jig and, um, well done, you've just named one of the fishing jigs. So um, yeah, drop a comment in the comment section below and we, so one of you can name this jig. It's, it's more of like a wider circumference, so it flutters a lot more than any other jigs, if that helps with the names. All right, I'm gonna go put this boat on the trailer and we're gonna go do, finally do this catch and cook. We're gonna make fish burgers. And we've got some of the most incredibly bloody good tasting fish in this esky here. Ooh, I'm frothing for it. Oh yeah. The boat's on the trailer, the trailer's on the car, and we are going. We are going, doggies. 
We are going to cook food. I am that bloody hungry. And we've got two of the most incredibly tasting, beautiful looking fish in the esky of that boat right now. So what I reckon we're gonna do is, we'll, um, what are we gonna do? Cause it's windy, it's not supposed to be windy. Cause it's so windy, what I'll do is I'll go back to where we woke up this morning or where I woke up this morning. It's nice and protected. There's a little beach there. We'll go down there, we'll, we'll um, can't have a fire either. Damn, can't have a fire right now in Australia cause it's summer, but we'll, um, we'll cook this fish up down there and it's gonna taste bloody amazing. All right, I'll see you guys back where we woke up this morning and we're gonna have fish burgers. They're gonna taste bloody incredibly good. I'm telling you what. All right, I'll see you back there at where we woke up. Ow. How bloody good is this? We've got our own private little beach, which is completely tucked away from that horrible wind. This is what it's all about right now. Two beautiful specimens of fish. These, I'm just gonna keep saying that they're such a beautiful eating fish. Look at that, very slimy. Such a sick fish. All right, let's whack these fillets off. Let's go and have a feed. <laughs> Uh, seagulls have come in to have a feed. Everyone's happy. Look at the colour of that meat. It doesn't come any pure white than that. That is, it's just so bloody beautiful. Look at that. This is going to make the most incredible fish burgers. Have a look at that for a scale. Give me one of those scales. That's one scale. They got pretty massive scales on these bad boys, but that is a really nice coloured piece of meat. Oh, I'll just about eat that raw. It's beautiful. Yum. That is a beautiful, beautiful piece of fish right there. When you look at it in the sun, it's actually got these beautiful little little rainbows all through each little section. It's got like a rainbow. I'm not even joking. Like when you look at it, it's got little rainbows in it. And that's when you know you've got a beautiful, fresh fillet of fish. So we've got a whole entire plate full of one of the most incredible eating fish right there. And down here we have the carcasses of the fish. And I know I said it on the boat before, but have a look at the chompers on this fella. They've got some gnarly, gnarly looking teeth. So what these fish are renowned for doing is, what they actually do, they swim around on the bottom, they'll eat crustaceans, they'll eat crabs, they'll eat mussels, they eat oysters. That's what they use these big teeth for. They come up and they just chew and crunch and crunch and crunch and they get the goods out of the shells. So a lot of people say you can't catch them on jigs, but today, we, um, we put an end to that theory. We've got a couple of these on those jigs today, which is um, pretty bloody good. Awesome, awesome looking fish. Have a look at that. Let's cut his stomach open and see what he's been eating. I love to do that whenever I get a fish. Have a look what they've been eating. So next time you go out, you might be, you might be that little bit more prepared to target that certain species, but let's cut, cut his stomach up. Have a look with those teeth, mate. There could be anything in his stomach. Let's have a look. I dare say it's gonna be full of just grit and broken down shell, but we'll have a look. Anyway, these guys don't have anything in their stomach right now. But I'm not gonna go, well, I'm not gonna throw these two carcasses away. What I'm gonna do with these, the wings off these are absolutely bloody beautiful. You put them on the barbecue, especially when you put them inside a Weber. So I'm just gonna leave these two in this rock pool here. I'll come back down after we've had a feed and I'll um, chuck them back in the esky because I like to eat the wings off these fish. There's a lot of meat in its cheek here. A lot of meat down in its head you can make soup there's a lot you can do there's actually a whole lot of meat still left on these fish so i'll leave them here we'll come back and we'll take them home later on oh oh that's so cold 
That is super refreshing. Sparkling water with a with a hint of lime and lemon. Just found that in the fridge. That's bloody beautiful. All right, so what we got going on here? We have two big ass fillets of fish in this sandwich bag. We've got a little bit of flour, salt, pepper, garlic, herbs. Just pretty much every herb spice under the sun is in this bag. I've just mixed it all up. I'm letting it just soak into the fish, patting it in there. And while that happens over there, we've got a frying pan just with a very shallow frying. I'm just gonna shallow fry these two fillets of fish. So here goes the first one. Look at that, look how thick that fish fillet is. These are gonna be hell good burgers. All right. Yeah, it's good to go in. All right, so in goes our first fillet. Oh my goodness. This one's even bigger. Look at that for a chunk of fish. Yum, man. All right, we'll bang that one there. There we go. They're our fish patties for our fish burgers. It's gonna be bloody incredible. You can smell this from a mile away. Look at that, golden brown goodness. It's time to come off. Let it sit for five minutes, cool down. Oh, it looks good, man. Right, so these are all the ingredients that we had in the fridge. I wasn't, I'm not really too prepared for this, but whatever. I'm gonna make one at a time to prevent this sand problem. What do we got here? We got some tzatziki. I don't know how you pronounce that, but there you go. It's some sort of a Greek yogurt sort of thing. Ah, right, I'm gonna bang that on the bottom layer. A little bit of hummus on this layer. Oh yeah. Don't be scared. Tomato. Bang that on. Look at that. What we came for, the big juicy bit of fish. That sits there. What else we got? The last thing that I have is this really old beetroot slaw. I'm just gonna bang on a handful of that on top there. Whack the lid on. Look at this. That doesn't look too bloody bad at all. Big, dirty fish burger. That fish is no more than an hour out of the water. That is as fresh as it gets and that looks pretty bloody good. I'm starving. This is gonna taste incredible. Look at this thing. That is, <laughs> doesn't, you don't get this in any restaurant. This is as fresh as it gets. Here we go. Mm. Oh. Look at that white meat. That is bloody good. Mmm. 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 That stuff there gives it a bloody. That stuff's amazing. That's good. I'll tell you what mate, I'm halfway through that burger and it is so bloody good. It's honestly like you can't beat fresh fish. You, you cannot beat fresh fish. But I'm gonna, I've just put the burger down there. I've got that one to eat. I've got one more to eat. I'm excited. I'm gonna throw this camera down. I'm gonna enjoy the scenery that I'm in. I had a bloody good day. I hope you guys had a good time watching and um, I will see you in the next video. But please make sure you drop a comment below and um, give me some ideas for that lure name. And if you guys wanna grab those lures, hats, shirts, fishing shirts, whatever, make sure you smash this button here. If you like these kind of videos, subscribe here and I will see you on the next adventure. Thank you so much for joining today and I'll see you in the next video. Much love, doggies. Ow! All right, now I'm gonna go smash this burger. Look at this. It is so bloody good. No. Incredible. Yeah, doggies. No,